Oh, that's crisp. Let's go see if we can find some snakes. Particularly of the hognose variety. Well, we've been cruising like 30 minutes and we just found a five and a half foot pine snake, D.O.R., that was hit yesterday evening, so uh, kind of an encouraging but very, very, very sad start to the day. It's always a shame to see pine snakes D.O.R., especially big ones like that, so uh, hopefully our luck will turn around because that is a really rough way to start the day. All right, well, it took a little bit longer than I was hoping, but 10.30 or so, and we finally have our first snake of the day, and it's exactly what we were hoping for. Our first hognose snake we've cruised this fall. Very tiny little southern right here in the middle of the road. Look at that little guy. So cute. This is Nick's first baby Simus, and what he really wanted to see today. Of course, we would love to see a pine snake or a diamondback or any of the other awesome things you can find in this habitat, but... I mean, that was the main goal, and we got it out of the way pretty early, so we have the rest of the day to keep cruising and just see what all we can turn up. So we're going to move our first baby hognose of the season out of the road and get back to cruising. Well, it's been about an hour, and right there is our second baby Simus. Not quite as colorful as the last one, but about the same size. He was sitting in a really weird place. His head was sticking way up in the air at first. He's kind of lowered it a little bit now. Second southern hognose snake of the day on a pretty good track to see a couple of these guys. So like with the last one, we're just gonna scoot him out of the road and try to keep moving. Out of the road. You're gonna go down that stump hole. Sure looks like it. <laughs> That's cool. All right, we're gonna get back to cruising. Hey, there is number three. Very, very nice. Look at that little guy. All right, Nick's taking a couple shots of this guy, and then we're going to keep on moving. But Baby Simus, number three, these guys are really scooting right now. Not as many just overall snakes as I was kind of expecting today, but we are doing quite well. It's just afternoon at this point. We've seen three hog noses, so pretty good number so far. We're going to keep at it. Hoping to see an adult or maybe something else at this point, or maybe even an eastern. I'd love to see an eastern hog. All right, little dude, good luck out there. Stay out of the road. And stay away from the predators. So cute. Look at the size of this guy. Itty bitty. All right, guys. Well, it's been a while since we saw a snake. It's kind of warm at this point, but it's definitely not hot. But we did find a beautiful little juvenile coach whip crossing the road. He ran up a tree and gave us a little bit of a chase, but look at that guy. Beautiful little snake. That is a kind of interesting size class of coach whip to see. He's big enough that he has his adult patterning, but he's still really small. I mean, he's probably... See if I can get them to stretch out a little bit. Maybe only like two and a half feet at most, but they're just so slender at this size that it doesn't look like a very big snake at all in my hand. It did look big in the road. We weren't sure what it was going to be, but I'm just going to let this guy zip off and we're going to keep moving. All right, guys. Well, here's our next snake of the day. It's yet another coach whip, but this time as a fresh little hatchling. So you can see what I mean when I say that other one was actually kind of big for a young coach whip. It's a weird size. I don't see many that size at all, but this guy is the typical size we usually see in the fall. And look at that head. They just have such a beautiful, intricate pattern, even as hatchlings. And they just look goofy because their eyeballs are so big and their heads are so small. But look at that. Really, really fantastic looking snakes. We're currently heading into town to get some snacks and energy drinks because we have been at it for a long time and it has been pretty productive. So we're gonna go fuel up and get ready for the evening shift. Hopefully there will be some more stuff to come. All right, little dude. Not quite as uh, impressively fast as the adults, but still very quick and can get away from you easily. Well, there is coach whip number five. We actually got this one in hand. I think we've lost two since we last caught one, at least. Yeah, we've showed two and then we've lost two. So this is number five. And uh, yeah, they all pretty much look the same at this size, but they're all really pretty. We're really hoping to get into some more hog nose action or maybe a rattlesnake or something. So. Just gonna let that guy keep moving, but yet another baby coach whip. Very cool. Normally when I see a bunch of coach whips out here, they're all that size. Yeah. Go on. It is their season. All it's right. Awesome. Here's our first hog nose in a fat minute. First one of the evening. He is nice, nice and light. This guy's right in an intersection. You can see his track here. Following him all the way over here. Well, four Simus in a day is never a bad thing. I wish we could get an adult, but I'm never gonna complain about seeing lots of evidence of a successful reproductive year. That's definitely 
the important thing here is that these guys are doing well and they're breeding just like last year. So we're actually up to five coach whips and four hog noses now. So nine snakes total. What's up, little dude? <laughs> so adorable. You gonna scoot towards me? Oh, he's cycling. the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs> Keep on scooting. <laughs> oh. All right, everyone. It's been a couple of weeks since we were down here looking for hog notices last, and uh, we finally got another nice cool spell, so we're back at it again today, and hopefully there will be some stuff out. It's super windy today and just kind of weird, but I'm pretty confident see a few things so we're gonna get to driving and I will let you guys know when we find our first snake of the day all right pretty early in the day and there we go a nice very crusty or covered in spider webs one southern hognose snake <laughs> he grumped up fast I think this guy just crawled through a spider web and that's why he's looking a little bit wonky looking but Got some decent size on him already. He's grown a little bit. But we're on the board. Just gonna escort that little guy out of the road and keep moving. And a few minutes later, there is number two. Another little guy. Look at his track. He's doing it. He's doing the scoot. Kinda. It's kinda like a, a half committed scoot, but it's a scoot nonetheless. <laughs> Is two hog noses and it is just now 10 15 a.m so hopefully it's going to be a pretty eventful morning we'll see they're coming out of the woodwork that one's pretty yeah, that's my favorite one. all right well it is just like blustery out here and kind of gross seeming but the simus are moving so we're going to keep at it and see how many we can get today we're up to three in the last five to ten minutes already so they are out in full force yeah that's weird there's just a red-eared slider in the road, or a yellow-bellied slider, not a red-ear. There's a ring neck here one time, and that, that's even weirder. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing out here, dude? There's no water. <laughs> well, that is among the last things I would have expected to just randomly find on this very upland road with no water anywhere nearby, but I guess it's pretty neat. We'll let him go in the direction he was heading. A yellow-bellied slider. Go. Go on, go on. Into the uh, the upland pine forest you go. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Holy crap, look at that. Beautiful mole king snake is our next find of the day. That is so awesome. Oh, I definitely can't say I was expecting that today. Snakes seem to be moving in mass, so. We are going to try to keep this train rolling, I think. Beautiful Mole King is our next find for the day. And uh, a snake I've only seen in this area twice now, both times this year. The wind is definitely making it a little bit tougher to get video today, but you get the gist. Beautiful Mole King snake. We see them quite often up in the Piedmont, but here in the upper coastal plain, they seem to be a little bit more uncommon. And there is number four. Beautiful. Look at that little guy. Very handsome little sinus. Number four for the day. So we're up to four southern hogs, a mole king, and a slider. And it's just now like 11, 15, 11 30. What a day. We'll get him out of the road and keep moving. Correction, it's only 11 a.m. So we've been here an hour and a half and we've seen four Simons and a Mole King. 
<laughs> well, it's 12.45 at this point, and we haven't seen a snake in a fat minute. We lost a coach whip, but they're still moving. As you can see, there's a nice hognose snake track here, but we haven't been able to find the snake. And uh, we haven't really seen a snake since the coach whip we lost a while ago. So I guess we're just gonna keep at it and hope that we can start connecting with stuff again. Look at that thing. Giant mantis, come here. She's got babies in there, I guess. Bring her into the light so you can kind of see her a little better. That is awesome. Very cool. Big pregnant female mantis. All right, so we got a nice track here and we actually successfully found this one. It's our first adult simus of the day and of the fall. Look at that. That is so cool. Second simus we found in habitat after following its tracks this year. And the first adult we've seen this fall. Really, really awesome. Big, huge adult too. That's one of the bigger ones I've ever seen. That is just so cool to see one of these snakes stretched out in habitat. As awesome as they are to see on the road, Richard's still taking photos, but as awesome as it is to see these guys on the road, it's almost a different experience entirely to see one sitting perfectly camouflaged in the dappled sunlight on the forest floor like that. Really fantastic way to end the day if that's the last thing we see. Super cool.